Hi, this is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com and I'm continuing my video blogs on uh, my book, Seriously God, and I want to encourage you, if you haven't already, purchase a copy for yourself or a friend. I have Volume 1 and Volume 2, and they're both still available, and they're great books to start the new year with, especially if someone is going through some changes. Today I'm looking at Day 18, Satan Doesn't Get to Win, based on Revelations chapter 20, verse 10. The devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur. Now, we find that people typically think one or the other. Either this devil is a demon that um, is behind every reason, every situation in our life. Um, there's a demon for everything. Or there really is no evil spirit. It's just people are good or bad. But the Bible clearly teaches that we have an enemy, and our enemy is not flesh and blood. Our enemy is a spirit who seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. And you know how the Bible just says, who can say there's no God? All you have to do is look at the trees, and you, and you look at the sky, and you, you look at the wonder of the earth, and how could you doubt there is a God? Well, at the same time, when I see the evil and the things that people have done to other people and the deviousness, how could we not believe that there is a demon or a devil behind it? But here's the thing. Satan may win battles here and there, but he does not get to win in the end. In the end, he will be thrown and, and he will be gone and he will not be allowed to deceive people any longer. But until then... We have to recognize that God has not made us just simply pawns for Satan to use. I mean, Satan's been watching mankind for generation after generation. He knows our triggers. He knows how to tempt um, married people to have affairs. He knows how to tempt people to lie and to steal. He's been doing that since the days in the Garden of Eden when he deceived Eve and Adam to take of the fruit. But because we have the power of God within us and we have the word of God, which tells us in Ephesians 6, here are the weapons of your warfare in dealing with Satan. We know he's not going to win. He doesn't have to win today and he doesn't have to win tomorrow. It's really up to us to first recognize him and, and call out that this is of the devil and call out what is the weapon is the sword is, is do i need to use the sword of the spirit which is the word of god do i need to pray do i need the breastplate of righteousness to do the right thing do i need the belt of truth to speak truth do i need the helmet of salvation you know picking out each armor and recognizing i can um resist the devil i am not just sitting there as a pawn i can resist the things that he speaks to my mind. You know, Satan can't read our minds, but he can implant thoughts in our minds. A thought can come and we can and we can either recognize it as a satan satanic thought or we can take it as our own and then do the sin that follows afterwards. The Lord has clearly um, given us power over the devil and he may never sleep and he will never stop deceiving us until his final final day. But here's the thing. Greater is he that is in you, that is in me, that is in every single believer, both young and old, than he who is in the world. Satan will not win in the end. Satan does not have to win. We have the victory in Jesus Christ. So the next time you feel, see a thought come, or, or just sense a thought coming through your head, just say, just say to yourself, no, not today. And speak the word of God to it. You know, the Bible says, cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ Jesus. That's my 1 Corinthians 10, 4, good buddy scripture. Use it today. Remember, Satan doesn't get to win. Greater is he who's in you. This is Crystal from DaughtersTheCreator.com. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.